I guess it would help if we took the lens cover off. Hi! Okay, um, I was just gonna get ready and watch a little bit of a 90 Day Fiance because Yara is just such a bitch and I can't get enough of it. <laughs> Did you guys see the clip where um, uh, her, his uh, Jovi's parents are like hugging and they're like, oh, they're so in love. And then she's like, I hate you. <laughs> like how close to him. <laughs> okay. So I thought I would do a little get ready with me. I want to have this like new brunette wig from Nuola Wigs. They make some epic wigs, okay? I'm gonna get ready and I wanted to take a picture in that wig. So I was like, oh, I'll just like film it. I'm just gonna do some really light makeup today and I'm gonna use a couple new products. One from a brand new brand that came out. So I also wanted to talk to you guys just about life in general. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Coconut Water Cream by First Aid Beauty. I use like water creams before I put makeup on because they're less like oily and I just remembered that I already put, no, I just put a serum on earlier. Okay, so this is good. Um, I burnt my face the other day. I do fake and bake at my gym and I literally forgot to put sunscreen on. I usually have sunscreen slathered all over my face, neck and hands and I forgot to do that. And so I got home and I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm as red as a lobster. And you can even see the little white line right here where the little goggles were. I know faking and baking is not good. I don't need to hear about it in the comments. Um, other tanning methods don't work for me for a plethora of reasons. I look terrible when I do it. And if you have been following me for a while, you probably know. I also wanna do this video because I wanted to give you guys a little life update. I know I talked a little bit about kind of having like a blood panel done and all that. And I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about that a little bit more because I finally got my results back about some things. And you know, I wanted to share it with you in case you're experiencing any of these things. This seems really dark for me right now, but whatever. I don't have very many concealer options. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. It's like three years old. Um, okay, so I really like more naturalistic like methods for things and like ailments and whatnot. Like I prefer to try and fix it with more natural remedies and things like that and diet and stuff. I'm not really super into Western medicine. I realize that there's like a time and a place, you know? So if you do like Western medicine and that's your thing, that's okay. I went to my, <gasps> my eyelids are all tan. So that's a little weird looking and I'm gonna have to fix that a little bit. Where is the other one that I've been using? Like this one's too pale, whatever. I'm just a hot mess today. So I was having a lot of digest digestive issues and it was causing like a lot of gas and stuff like that, like super fun to talk about. Um, but I was having digestive issues and I was just like really sick of it. So I went to a Western doctor and other things too. Like I felt like I was having like a really low sex drive and I felt like it was mostly because of like my levels of stress and I've heard about like low cortisol and all that. You know, I told her, I was like, I, I find it really hard to wake up in the morning. I am, you know, kind of struggling with, you know, fatigue and I get tired throughout the day. I find it really hard to fall asleep. So I, I, she gave me like all of these like random medicine, like a pers not random, but like a prescription to like something that basically, you know, masks the problem rather than kind of figuring out what the root of the problem is. And I am very much so interested in figuring out what the root of the problem is and not putting a bandaid over it. I really don't like doing that with anything health related. I just, that's not really my thing. Okay, it's getting really hot in this. I need to go put a shirt on. Okay, so I was, you know, and I've, I've been struggling with, um, I don't wanna say like losing weight, like I have a bunch of weight to lose because comparatively to some people I am good and whatever, but I'm a little on the, so I had lost, um, when I went through a divorce, I had, I had lost like 25 pounds and I was down to like 137 and I'm hovering around, I was hovering around like 145, 146 recently. And so I'm like, I'm working out, I'm eating extremely healthy. Like what is the deal? Like why, I, I should be able to drop weight easier than this. Like I used to have a very, very fast metabolism. Look at my tan lines, can you see those? <laughs> just very slight, like, but I like them. I'm actually not gonna do eyeshadow then. I'm just gonna do my bronzer as eyeshadow. I really have been loving this palette right here. It's got blush, um, setting powder, bronzer. Oh, weight loss. So there was just like a, a there's just like a like a bunch of like random things, and I was trying to figure it out. And then one of my friends 
mentioned to me that she has been on testosterone and I'm like, what do you mean? Like I, I kind of just, you, when you hear that, you just think of men and you think of, you know, guys that juice up and just, I mean, that's what I think about anyway. So I didn't even realize that women could have like low testosterone. So I kind of, you know, talked to her a little bit more about it and she recommended me to her naturopath. And that's, I, I actually, never heard of a naturopath before. And and I'm assuming if I'm pretty like in touch with, I just realized that my light back there is like not where it's supposed to be. So if the lighting doesn't look good, then that might be why. So I, I, I'm somebody that has like really taken an interest in health and fitness. And I've been really, you know, all about that for quite a while. So I found it really interesting that I had never heard of you know, a naturopath. So I was like, okay, wait, what? Wait, what is a naturopath? Like I've been, I thought my only option was like a Western doctor, like a voodoo doctor, like, I don't know. So I, um, I kind of, you know, talked to her more about it and stuff. And then I started looking up the symptoms of low testosterone. And I was like, whoa, I can relate to almost every single damn thing on this symptom list and I'm gonna try it out. So before I reached out to the naturopath that she had been seeing, I went ahead and, this is not sponsored, but I really wish it was because I buy a ton of their tests. Um, I used everlywell.com. I saw a commercial for them a long time ago and I've purchased quite a few tests from them. Anyway, so I got on their website and I ordered their testosterone test after kind of hearing about this. And I was just like, what in the world? Like, I'm so surprised. Like I didn't, you know, realize that te low testosterone was a thing with women. Like, I don't know why we're not talking about this more. And I also was like, you know what? I think it, I'm due for like an entire panel, like a blood panel, just to like see what's going on with my health, kind of see where I'm at, you know? And, um, this is the highlight from that palette too. I freaking love it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go on here and just like get this test and see. It was like $50 and honestly it was like, I also did a stool test. I'll get to that. Anyways, um, I got the test and it is kind of nasty because uh, it is a saliva test. So <clears throat> I really had to spit in a vial. Like where's, I just saw a, brown eyeliner on the ground somewhere. I was gonna use that. Okay, whatever, I'll just find a new one then. This is, oh, that's, this is a waterproof one. I don't wanna, I'm trying to smudge this out. So let me, <laughs> I got these from the container store. They're for putting like little, um, whatchamacallits in, like little, uh, I have ADHD so bad, dude, I'm sorry. Anyways, you put like little um, cotton balls and stuff in there, but you know what you can do? empty out and uh, I almost said vacuum. <laughs> Put this in the microwave and get the extra candle wax out of there and you got a cup holder or a brush holder. So anyways, you have to fill up this vial with, um, with spit. And I think spit is so gross. This is the pure on point eyeliner and not sorry. I'm just gonna like kind of put this here so I can like smudge it out a little bit. It's kind of like a gray brown. Um, so anyways, you have to like salivate and fill this vial up. And I was like, this is so disgusting. I almost like threw up. Um, and then of course, like their design was so bad. That, like the, the, uh, I shouldn't say of course, I really like them. Okay. So, um, I almost made myself throw up because it was so nasty and I kept, you know, their vial had like a, a paper label on the side. So I had to spit in it. And of course I got like fricking spit all over the label on the side, which was really grossing me out. So finally got that all filled up, sent it off in the mail and I felt real accomplished. And I was just so excited to see, ow, just stab myself. Okay. So I was very excited to send that off and get my results um, because I, I'm having these issues, you know, I'm like, I want to see what is going on and like fix it, you know? So let's see, I'm gonna take this little guy and smudge this out a little bit. So I sent it off and I got my results back um, within like a week or something. And they tell you, you know, it's cool because they email you so you can just like log in. Like you don't have to wait for something else to come to you in the mail, which is great. 
So I logged in and I pulled up my results and I was just like kind of floored when I read them. And I was like, I knew it. I literally, so the normal range for a woman is around 62. I was a 10 or below and I was like, oh my gosh, no wonder. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about the symptoms. So the symptoms I'm looking at them right in front of me are sluggishness, muscle weakness, fatigue, sleep disturbances, reduced sex drive, decreased sexual satisfaction, weight gain, and fertility issues, muscle mass and fat distribution, red blood cell production, vaginal dryness, loss of bone density. The doctor may check for depression, anxiety, chronic stress, thyroid disease, transition to menopause. Those are some things that they could look at if you're having those symptoms. I'm gonna share this with you guys. So this lady named Tisha that I know, she just started her own brand and honestly, I don't know if it's Lys or L-Y-S. I don't know how to say it. I need to ask her actually. I should ask her, text her and ask her. This is um, the Triple Fix Serum Foundation. It's got HA, turmeric, and uh, ashwagandha. It's vegan, cruelty-free. Um, this is the only shade that I have. This one looks like it might work right. Actually, I have this one too. Maybe between the two of these we can get this to work. But I wore this the other day and I was really pleasantly surprised. And I haven't used a beauty blender in like literally <laughs> like a year and a half. So interesting. This is also a brush. From, let me put it the right way. This is a brush from her brand as well. So anyways, I get these results and I'm like, that's insane. Like, I don't know what results people typically have, but the fact that um, I'm using this silk canvas uh, primer, oh my gosh, it feels so cool and good on my face. I was really surprised. I mean, I was surprised because I was like, oh my gosh, maybe this is, the answer to my prayers, like maybe this is, you know, this is kind of the reason why I'm having a lot of these symptoms and not like living my best damn life. So I couldn't believe that I, so it said basically I was a 10 or below. So I could have been a 10 and I could, I could have been a two. We're not really sure. I think you probably get a little more accurate results when you do an actual like blood test through your doctor. As soon as I see this, I'm like, okay, so I need to reach out to that natural path that my friend told me about because I need to get a handle on this and figure out like what what I can do and unrelated I think is my di digestive issues you know so I was like okay I need to make an appointment so I made an appointment with her and I'll actually leave her information in the uh, down bar below if you're interested she came recommended to me which was really important to me because I think recommendations and referrals are like super key like if my friend that I respect goes to her, then chances are I'm really gonna like her too. So um, she also can do Zoom meetings. So if you, you know, are in Canada or somewhere else or, you know, Mexico or whatever, she can do um, a Zoom meeting with you and that's no problem. And then she can like recommend like where to go. That like color actually is pretty good. I don't know how it looks on camera, but. So I set an appointment with her and it was so annoying because I was actually visiting um, South Carolina and going to that like really rad estate that's there. We were, Nick and I were staying there for like a little getaway last year. And so my Zoom meeting kept like cutting out and stuff. And so I said, you know, hey, I, I you know, I kind of went over all my symptoms and all my different things. And I told her that, you know, my friend is, um, that goes to her is also on the testosterone that she shared with me. And so she basically told me that Everly Well is a pretty reputable um, source for different tests and things like that. So I was like, okay, I didn't you know, waste the $50 and I don't have to get this redone. So that's cool. So I shared with her my results about how my testosterone was um, a 10 or below. With that being said, she prescribed a bunch of stuff for me. And um, one of those things was testosterone cream. Now the one that I'm on right now is uh, a 10% and I, I have noticed a drastic difference in a few things. So when I say that my energy is low, like obviously it's gonna be lower than a lot of people's because I have a lot of stress and um, you know, running a business and two YouTube channels and all of my pets and everything is very stressful. And um, I don't really handle stress super well. I used to handle it a lot worse. So I'm better at it now, but um, I would say that I don't handle it the best, but I was feeling like tired when I would go out with friends. Like I would, I love this brush. I would go out with friends and I would literally be, you know, tired, like 
an hour into it and just not have the energy to like even like talk or laugh or like hold a conversation. I was like, this is seriously like no way to live. Like this is, I'm gonna do this old thing. You guys remember this from the Instagram tutorial days? Oh, I was gonna say I don't have anywhere to go, but I actually am. I'll talk, tell you where I'm going in a minute. I'm gonna go get my head measured. Anyways, where was I at? So I've been on this cream now for about two months, I'd say, and I really have noticed a difference in quite a few things. I have more energy, um, but I would say the biggest spot that I notice a difference in right now is my sex drive. Like I wanna have sex every single day, multiple times a day now. So that's awesome. And I also don't necessarily need a vibrator when I'm by myself. That's crazy. That's a lot of information. But if you're subscribed to my channel, you know how I do. I'm not even gonna apologize. That's just, that's what you're gonna get when you're here. I am very excited about the possibility of needing more testosterone, testosterone, because um, I, if I'm already noticing a difference with just the 10% and say um, I get tested again, I am getting tested again that's next month. It has to be like on, the 19th or 20th day of your cycle or something like that. So it's kind of specific. So I'm going to be tested again next month and we'll see where I'm at with it. But I'm almost like hoping that I do need more just so that I can have even more results because I'm loving what I've seen so far. I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> um, so that's great, but I'd love to see even more changes. So I'm gonna get it tested again next month and we'll see how it is, but I have noticed that I'm sleeping a bit better also. And um, in the weight loss department, I am about, I'm. it's weird because my, my weight fluctuates a lot, but I'm hovering around 140 right now. And obviously I'm actually in the 130s, hey because my knockers weigh like a pound and a half each, right? So that counts. I told my mom that and she was like, you are stupid. And I was like, I know, you made me. So <laughs> what does that say about you, lady? Uh, this, we're just gonna call it Liss for now. I really need to check this out. Oh yeah, L-Y-S Beauty, Liss Beauty. Is a very dirty compact that I put my greasy little mitts all over. This is a setting powder. I'm gonna powder this all over the place. My bearded dragon is like not, happy being in her cage. Like you have a six foot enclosure. Like, what are you bitching about? <laughs> She's like scratching on the sides. She woke up from brumation and she even has like a egg laying um, thing in there right now in case she needs to lay eggs. Cause usually they're scratching like that and they're restless when they need to lay eggs. So she's like all set up and she's just not having it. I just got these from Ofra and I really like these. These bronzers look a little dark for me. Okay, we're supposed to be trying new things. I'm gonna try it. So the weight loss, like I've been going to the gym. Uh, by the way, I have an Ofra code. Um, I think it gets you like 20% off or something. That looks nice. So the weight loss thing is not going as well as I'd like it to go. Like the way I've been um, counting calories and stuff just so that I can have, the reason why I actually do that now, I used to do it a long time ago, is so that I can make sure I'm getting the amount of protein that I need. And so that I can just make sure that I, am able to like eat things that I want. Like if I want some French fries, I do that and I eat super clean part of the day so I can have my French fries and whatever. That's my prerogative. Pretty much just eat steamed vegetables, salads, egg whites, you know, and I really like it. It's good. But I, f I feel like I should weigh like 135 right now from the, like the, I shouldn't say work that I put in because I definitely don't bust my ass in the gym or anything. I do weight lift and stuff, but I don't, I don't get too freaking crazy. Actually, I'm liking this bronzer. Um, when you're low on testosterone, for a woman, it causes you to hang on the fat more and longer because you're not able to keep on your muscle mass. And when you have more muscle, the more fat and calories and stuff that you're burning. Don't quote me on that, do your own research, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. If I'm remembering correctly from my being on a timer every two and a half hours and stuff days. So I would like to see a little bit more there and I, would like to see even more energy and I'd like to be able to get up in the morning even better. I'm not doing horrible there, but I am not a morning person. Like I could literally fuck off to like two o'clock in the afternoon and just be like, where did the time go? So I'd like to be able to kind of wake up and like 
have my uh, adrenals working a little better. So apparently what I learned from her is um, it's your adrenals that like fire in the morning and tell you like when to wake up and get going. And so if you have very high stress levels, your adrenals could be a bit out of whack and like your cortisol that has to do with your stress levels and all that. So there's like a lot that goes with it that I don't really know a whole lot about. I just wanted to like talk to you guys about it because if you're feeling like if you can relate to any of those symptoms, you know, I highly recommend that you go get tested or at least get that $50 test to check out your testosterone. And then from there, I think you have to be prescribed testosterone. Like the testosterone that I bought, the lab is like in San Diego and they fresh make it like when you order it. So like you don't, like you're not just buying it off of a shelf. So I um, am pretty excited. I'm putting a little bronzer here. It makes my lip look a little bit bigger. I've been getting my lips filled and they just look tiny still. Like I think it's like going all up here or something. Like I don't know what the hell is going on with the lips. So I'm gonna use this um, blush that's in here too and see kind of what that's all about. And then I'm gonna use, I'm gonna highlight with this guy right here. I like to put that on first. So I just wanted to share that because if you can relate to any of those symptoms, then it's possible that you are experiencing low testosterone and kind of some of those different things. And it might be a good idea to go get a whole panel done. And I know that it's expensive, but at the end of the day, like take a hold of your health now and invest in that because you're going to pay for it later. And you know what? It is so worth it to like be feeling your best every day. Like, this year and last year has already been very hard. It's like, we don't need to make things even harder on ourselves. So, you know, if you can manage that, I, I really recommend it. Like it's been great for me. And like I said, like I, I'm hoping to see even more improvements in those different areas. So I'm hoping that when I get tested, like I hate to say like, I'm hoping that my testosterone is still low, but I'm hoping that I still, there's still room for improvement. And I know that like I, she started me off on a very low like dosage because she's the type of doctor that doesn't like to do too much too quick. And she, you know, so she can kind of control the different um, levels of everything. So we'll see, I'm getting um, that tested again. Like it's sometime in March, it's sometime next month. It's on my calendar. So I thought I would share it just in case you know, you might be like, just like I was like eight months ago, like having no idea that you could have low testosterone as a woman. I've got a hair appointment tomorrow. I'm so excited because my roots are way too dark for me. I need these, this like lightened up. Um, okay, well that's the end of that. I'm glad we got to talk for like 17 hours. Thank you so much for listening to me talk at a camera for so long, I appreciate that. Talk amongst yourselves in the comments below. What have you found? Have you gone and gotten your testosterone tested? Do you have any of those symptoms? Like I just, the point of this video was really to kind of like help give you guys some ideas and some tips and tricks. Like I like try to make it so that everyone can learn something from my, not mistakes, cause it's not a mistake, but, or mistakes too, but like just share that information with you guys. So that you guys can be the happiest and healthiest versions of yourself. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. And we'll see you here and on Instagram and also over on my pet channel. I kind of upload there when I'm not uploading here. So if you're interested in seeing those, I will, those videos I'll link, um, I'll link some for you below. But thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Also, please let me know if you're interested in seeing the Mexico road trip vlogged. I would love to know. Bye guys.